What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are attacking against the Mughal Empire and we are pushing on the front line. First of all, taking out this small stack here so that this force to the north can advance up the road towards Afghanistan where we will probably see a whole, uh, a whole mess of Mughal armies ready to stop us. So, let's first knock out this small army here and then we can begin the war because we do have more armies coming in or will have more armies coming in across the seas to provide some support we will probably end up needing to hit uh, Mysore as well it's unlikely they'll let us have such free reign over southern India let's put my artillery up on the hill how it is in this little gully bit here Let's create a bit of a traditional line because they don't have any significant mass to stop us. Oh, it's because I grouped my units together. There we go. Janissaries work their way around the left, around the buildings. Put the bulk of our cavalry on the right. Turn the Delhi muskets off. Mamelukes can... The Mamelukes and my general can go on the left. There we go. There we go. We need to close distance rapidly. Because they are hitting us with shrapnel shot. Hearts are doing some good work. There we go. We've knocked out two of their guns, apparently. Okay, let's start to pick... Pick some of my artillery to start doing some of the similar things to them. Let's actually also get some of our guns to keep hitting their elephants. There we go. They did get involved on the flank. We can start to pivot some of our troops around. There we go. One unit of artillery has abandoned its position. There we go. We've joined battle. Ooh. Okay, Delhi Cavalry, fire at will. Fire at the General's Bodyguard. So let's use my Janissaries to roll up the flank. Delhi Cavalry, get on the move. One of my gunners go for the general's bodyguard. Okay, let's turn firewall off. We'll knock out these horsemen. Firstly, I want to set my gunners up, my infantry like so. Get my cavalry back on the march. My general's bodyguard's pretty okay. Loitering back there. This field how it says focus on the general's bodyguard. Okay. He goes hit the Sikh warriors, the Delhi horsemen, charge the bowmen. You guys, I don't like you do you guys firing at will, but that you'll do some good damage to the general's bodyguard. Let's pivot, let's keep you. You chase down some bowmen. You guys chase down the desert warriors. There we go. You guys hit the bowmen. 
actually my cavalry hit the desert warriors all my guns focus on this unit of bowmen Let's see my howitzers are all I should get them all to focus on general's bodyguard keep an eye on the desert warriors so they don't get too close to the general's bodyguard You guys peel off to make sure you can get around the cover. There we go. Eh, don't worry about the general's bodyguard. What matters more is that we get as many of them as we can. Yeah, these Israelis can come in and help my Mamelukes clear out the bowmen. They'll get some kills on these bowmen as well as they get to the combat. There we go. Enemy general has been killed. We are going to continue because we don't want the Mamelukes to really constitute or reconstitute any of their forces. Okay, so you... You help the general and go after this unit of bowmen. I mean, it's two units of bowmen, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Which one we go for there? Come on, two warriors. You try to chase down those bowmen, but they'll probably rout. Okay, everyone after this last cluster of bowmen. Let's make sure they're ungrouped. There we go. That was a nice win. So... Yeah, the Mughal Empire, they generate so many troops so quickly, we will need to just try and kill them while we can. There we go, that's what I was expecting to see. At which point, you guys can move up to keep my forces strong together. We do have more troops marching, both along the coast road and towards the city itself. And obviously the city is going to be under siege from these chaps. I mean, they might try and assault us, which if they do, we'll get a reasonable garrison. If not, we do have armies right here ready to ready to hit back, and we'll probably start to spam out some Nizam, some Grenadiers. Not only hand mortars, get some Zemat. Unit of Mounted Nizam and a unit of Sipahi. There we go. Yeah, I would like... To be honest, I might send you guys down here instead. So I can try and push into their homeland here. So you're going to push up from the south. Then over in the Americas... And you're repairing. The Iroquois have been pushed back. Well, not pushed back. They've been convinced that uh, war might not be their best option. You guys aren't yet quite ready to get into the city. You guys are building up another force ready to push on to Cayuga. Newfoundland forces might go up and hit Rupert's land. I mean, I am recruiting a sloop. But I don't think it'll matter too much. So let's get this sloop around to hit Rupert's Land, as it's owned by a rebel faction anyway. You may as well go grab it and bring it into the fold. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not, not going to fight that. There we go. 
We do have a pleasure building which we're going to knock down, replace it with a madrasa. And that will, will likely draw us into conflict with the Huron down the line. You are waiting for these pirates to either be defeated or to be chased off. And it's probably going to have to be... There we go. Bring these guys into the mix to go knock out this um, this uh, pirate fleet here. Then we'll probably sail on and hit Port Royal. Yeah, let's bring the race boat galleon into the fleet. Okay, so make Port and Lea again, Lea gang. Uh, why can I not repair? Oh, because this isn't a port. Okay. Take the sloop. Take the fleet. The fort. The fleet. Less the sloop. Over to San Juan, where we can make repairs. Good stuff. And Ismail Nuruddin, who fought we fought the earlier battle with, he is now a confident general. Three more turns to a percussion shot. So you guys need to replenish. And you guys need to pick up more troops, but I think you're getting them. Yeah, you are. All of our, all a bunch of our armies have gone to sea. We might just spend the last bit of cash we have upgrading some trade ports. You can get you know Muslim to occupy Portsmouth. You are also in need of. Three Jevex, one each to guard the ports and then one to transport the army. Yeah, that was Rupert's Land. That was our newest capture. So we need to keep this navy bottled up. Our spies have been deployed. So if we take Karnataka, that really that restricts where they can attack us from across this pit, this um, pass here, or this piece of land, unless Mysore join them in war, which they could well do. And if they do, then that could be a few spicy battles right there. Let's try upgrade this to a madrasa. Let's see if they bite. I doubt they will. Let's put a camel nomad unit in Nerun. Let's put a dry dock. Let's build some fifths to try do the blockading work that some of our bigger fleets are currently doing. So I fear... Oh, I've got to rebuild my uh, former school. Yeah, a lot of agents are working their way towards the uh, new front, front lines. Oh, they are, they are building strength around Afghanistan. They are going to make city, make landfall. They are. Our armies over here are within range to support, though. So I think we're probably going to be okay. We've got our troop quality is a bit pants. But I think we're going to be okay. I might... Actually, that's probably not too terrible, actually. Let's fight to defend Persia. There's a lot of them on the way. But I think we should be able to do some amount of damage. They can't attack... They can't make a breach too easily because they don't have enough uh, artillery to do that. They have one set of guns, which granted is enough to make a breach eventually, but it's not enough to make multiple. Good. It's a, it's a small fort as well, which makes it easier to defend. And we do have a core of Nizam infantry. I uh, didn't mean to select all of you. We do have a core of Nizam up front. We've got mortars, which I've seen before, which I, we've we've seen before. They can be a bit slapdash. So let's put some Israeli up on the walls. Let's put some garrison Azars up here as well. All my mortars are just going to be lobbing. Quick climb. And that gives us 
reserves of Arm Populus, Firelock Arm Populus. So these Arm Populus are both melee units. To be honest, these guys may as well get straight up on the wall. I'm going to use them just to plug some gaps. Got two Nizam and a Firelock Arm Populus to take position wherever they breach. It's not that terrible, really. All my mortars fire round shot because that's what's within range. Our reinforcements coming in from over here. Which is interesting. Because we could... That could potentially spell the end of their... Artillery contingent. So where are, where are they making a breach? Nowhere yet. Now my mortars start lobbing quick climb. My sipahis go in there and take out those 18 pounders. This artillery try to get to this peak here. Let's get the other cavalry over to the city. Because I want these guys, it's going to be a bit of a suicide run. Might just go after those musketeers first and foremost. It's got some Indian lances are counter charging. You guys intercept that two man. I do a lot of damage to these chaps, but I might run over and try hit their gun teams. Battle has now been joined. Quick Climb's doing some good work. So the job of these... The job of these Sipahi is to take as many... Take as many men as possible with them. Okay, that's one infantry guard unit that might be sufficiently devastated. If I can get these guys back, I might actually deploy these guns here to blast this contingent with shrapnel shot at long range. Good, that's the guardsmen running away. The Azars need to be on guard mode. You guys need to hit this musketeer unit. Gunners, get into position. Let's run one of my armed populace units up. Probably the same over here. Yeah. Danger close quick line shots. Some good work though. Okay, the Sapahis are done. Charge down into the dervishes. Let's get my Sapahi to not run over to the uh, not to run over to the section of the wall that's currently being See, they're actually climbing away, so I'm not going to chase them down. Okay, so my gunners... 
engage those Islamic swordsmen with canister fire. Well, canister fire, shrapnel fire. Ooh. Damn fine shot, sir. To get my these Sipahi to run around, to try and harass the units at the bottom of the walls. There you go, my own populace are now getting involved. Let's get my Nizam involved. Let's get my general inside. that are running hit them with a shrapnel shot please because they might be coming to kill you you missed but you killed some gunners might lose my heavy cavalry they are upset Bring some other heavy cavalry in against the levy. You guys should be loading and firing a bit more frequently than that. It looks like their cavalry is mostly bothered about my cavalry that's running around outside the walls or my general that's stuck. Run, cavalry, run! So because my general is stuck trying to get back in the city, they're being they're being supported by some gunnery, but I have to pull my sipahi back to save this general. Let's throw the armed populace in. get to the point where we want to set up our troops but not have fire at will turned on yet kill the lancers then so my general's gonna die because my cavalry refuses there we go, now they're doing it. Now they're hitting the lancers. So grinding to a bit of a halt, cause probably trying to compute all this mess. <laughs> some of them are routing, some of them are... I think it's even. They're fighting a little combat there. I mean, it's because I'm actually a fire fighting on multiple fronts. Who are you even shooting at now at this point? Just a round shot. And hit the general's bodyguard. So these gun gunners have made the Islamic swordsman route. Fire on actually fire on this building. There we go, the levy are now involved. Fire lock on populace involved. Let's move up a new unit of Nizam up to the to the assault point. You guys have repulsed your attack, so you men take up position there to man the guns. This will not be over until we can finally destroy them. Can 
I mean, these levees shouldn't be around for too long. Cause, I mean, they might... Well, depends if my Sipahi can kill the Indian Dakani Lancers, which you can see running around. Still throwing more men, and they've also got Sikh Musketeers coming in. So let's throw another unit into the mix. Let's also bring my armed populace over. If possible. Now, my Azars aren't going to rout. Let's bring this unit of infantry across. Okay, that's the. Okay, that's those enemies dealt with. Those levy dealt with. So run through them and kill them. Who are they? Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Let's hold fire. Okay, they finally left. I wanted, well, I wanted some men to come around to hit the uh, the levy out the gates. But what I'm going to do is pull my men inside. Because it feels like that's where their cavalry is going. And the trick will be to not let them have a... Have a place they can gain a foothold. Because my men can chase off... These chaps, I suspect. See, they're after my... Cavalry. See, now they've gone inside. They, they, they don't know where to go. We do have a unit of... Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was a, a cooler swordsman unit, but it turns out it's just the levy. Yeah, my armed populace hasn't taken it very kindly. The main thing is to make sure we don't lose control of the gate. Oh, my cavalry's stuck. Nice one, game. I mean, if you guys could could garrison somewhere a bit better to fire your guns, that would be great. Yeah, there we go. They've lost their... They've lost their foothold. They were trying to gain on the walls and we pushed them back. That was pretty good. God, it's so muggy. God, alive. I just moved my arm on my desk and it's just so sweaty. God, alive. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit. My Phylocon Populous have come out to have a bit of a play. Let's get some Israeli over the combat. Let's do some shooting. Oh, don't tell me these guys, these guys aren't... Are these guys bugged? Do I have to like run them off the wall properly? Well look, they're not even... They're properly bugged. These guys down here aren't even moving. You've got a guy stuck there. So let's try and get some other people on the wall. There! There's our infantry! So you want these guys to man, a, to man some of the guns as well. Get the armed populace off the wall. Part of the problem might be too many 
I oh, know you you just got up there. No, you come down. These guys come down off the wall. I mean, if you guys actually got into a position that you could fire, there we go, you'll clear out those lancers. There we go. Do some damage to our own men, but there we go. There we go. That's more like it. Now we can start to bombard the camel gunners. Let's turn fire wheel back on. God, look at all these dead elephants. The general did die. Or one, I think he died. Yeah. Kismetific. Because they, because they got stuck on the wall. Great, isn't it? Okay, so that unit of two miners routed. So let's get my men. Well, hold on. Okay. Some of them were stuck. I'm going to set them to walk. But I need to go and entice their... Uh... I need to entice their... Um... General into action. Those musketeers are routed. You guys stop shooting or whatever it is you're shooting. Yeah, set him to run. Because ultimately, we have repulsed. There we go, that's what I wanted to see. We've repulsed their attack, and victory is ours. I mean, they've lost a significant chunk of their troops, which means they are going to be raiding little scamps. Yeah, because I haven't got the control of the crossing up in uh, Afghanistan. That's where all their put. That's the only direct, the only place their forces can cross the river and head west. So you really need to get that sorted out. Yep, pirates are going to carry on pirating. But it won't do them no good. They can pirate all they like. It's only leading to their doom. So, so, so. You men. Combine with the forces of the garrison and replenish. And you can hit that little leftover army. Good. Blip. Continue to chase them down, whatever the cost. New port emerges in Finland. It's a good trade port. Also recruiting Muslim nearby. Port blockaded Demerara. Yeah, we know that. Construction. Let's do some upgrades. Farms. Commercial base in here. Upgrade the water power plot in England. Trading port. Not so bothered about the ordnance board. Power cloth mill, Iron Master's Forge, and a small madrasa. So you've got this army here. So let's take. To be honest, take the lot. You men get aboard ship. You men sail along to India. These elite in between Sandy Bay for now. Fleet arrives. Oh, glorious fleets. Oh, so many fleets. Oh my god. Okay, let's put. First of all, is our cot occupied? Oh, 
Our cod is not occupied. So we can claim the territory for free. Let's recruit a bomb catch just to occupy the port. Obviously there are Moogles nearby, so this is not a permit solution. That's our fleet, blockading their fleet in. So I will want... Actually, let's not do that. Let's not build a bomb catch. I will want... Uh, let's disembark this army. Let's set them on the road to the new port. We'll probably f sort them out in a few turns, so we don't need to worry about the extra movement that the, that the infrastructure upgrades give them. Let's land another one. Let's land three down south, so you can march west to clear out the Mughals here, then stage ready to hit Mysore. You men disembark. Take the high ground to the north. And then these three here may get used to push onto a Medabad. So if I can take a Medabad, this army can be engaged by this force here in Narun. I mean, goddamn, if, they if they're going to leave their cities exposed like this. I mean, there's an army right up. It's okay, these guys need reinforcements. Pretty rapidly. Let's send our Ashashin up to Akbarabad. Get this fleet into the port. Oh, I didn't mean to dump them off. I wanted to get them actually disembarked. Looks going to have to do that with this one. If you disembark them, you make, you make you keep all their movement points. So I want to get these guys nearby to a Medabad. And that's all the troops deployed. So let's send a sloop over to Port, Port Bandar. So let's get rid of the dry dock. Repair the global trading company. So we're likely to do a couple of fights here. We're probably going to take this army to hit Muazam Rathor. And we're going to take this army and head east to hit Ghazi Ud Din Pani. As well as probably some other bits and pieces, including actually taking this big fleet. Knocking out these pirate scallywags. Not pirate scallywags. These uh, Mughal scallywags. Actually a lot of ships in that engagement. Do a recce up the east coast. Okay, that's another contingent we can bottle up, as well as building another sloop to get ready to deploy the Ceylon garrison to the mainland. Let's just check, well there, there might be some fleet arrives in the Americas. Nope, so let's get rid of all those, get rid of recruitment. Kismet Telfik got some good bonuses. Region captured Karmatka, yes. And Gujarat, Nebdi Hamdi, blockade runner. That's the new one of the new fleets that's come down south. Um, okay. So probably want to send you east. You. It looks like they've they've been abandoned. So there's a few battles we need to get done. We want to fight. Fight this force under Mukbarak Hassan. Then we also want to fight two down here. So let's set this one up ready for the. Oh no, this guy, sorry. He's not going to get reinforced by this army, but that's okay. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time uh, for yet another fight against the Mughals. But we've landed significant forces all over their coast, so now they have some real problems to think about. Cheers everyone!